Dylan, um, talk about the slow start for this football team, which is a concern when you look over the last uh, couple of games, especially against Hagerstown and then against Shenandoah, just getting out of the gate. What seems to be the issue? Um, well, we just need to put in the effort at the very beginning instead of coming out the second half. So, I mean, really just uh, just putting in the effort. Yeah. What do you think is missing, though? I mean, the coach talked about everybody being amped up and really ought to be ready to go, and that seems to be the part that he can't quite figure out. Yeah, I mean, I'd, honestly, I don't know what it is. I think um, people are just out of shape, and um, maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah. Is, is, and I know it's frustrating, especially for guys like you. What do you try to do to maybe try to help alleviate it this week in practice to make sure then, of course, you have homecoming this week, yeah. which is going to be a big distraction. How do you maybe try to help alleviate all of that? Well, I just got to be try to be a leader, and all the caps and captains and seniors have to step up and you know try to motivate the team to, you know, actually push themselves to be to go as hard as they can every single play. How frustrating is it though when you're out there, and and you know sometimes you can get away with that with teams that aren't as good. But your last two weeks, you've played a pretty good football team. How frustrating is it for you guys? Well, we know we can step up to the plate, and you know, we can we can handle handle them. So, um, you know. If we know we're just as good as them, it's really frustrating knowing that um, we're we're down really early. Yeah, and you got to change that whole game plan and everything. Then don't you mean go to kind of Plan B? Yeah, yeah. So we just have to, you know, put in the effort right at the very beginning. This week is going to be tough again. Your routine is messed up. You've got Labor Day. You've got homecoming, and I know that homecoming is a part of football, but it doesn't help from the focus standpoint. How do you get through this week and try to make sure you're ready to go on Friday? Because you're going to step right off that uh, homecoming parade, I guess, right into football, right? Yeah. Well, we have to, you know, we have to be resilient and, you know, try to get past all the distractions and just stick to our game and just do what we do. Yeah. Winchester, I've seen them. You've seen them. I think they're better than an 0 3 record. Talk a little bit about what you expect out of them on Friday night. I expect a good game. Um, they're a good team, and I think they, you know. They push really hard. They they don't stop. So we just try to just you know stick to you know our our rules, and then I think we can come out and show a good game. Hey, before I let you go, you get them at home. That's the nice thing. At least you're going to be able to sleep in your own bed and all that. They talk about for the Friday game. That's got to help being in front of your home fans. Oh yeah, you know we all love the the home atmosphere. You know we have the the stands all packed every single game. It's it's all it's awesome. And the student section, you know, a huge part. So I can't wait.